Hello, this video is for my Mechatronics final project. It's a timed valve controller. Um, it's all functional, but I will be installing it next week in the shop that it was designed to be used for. Um, it's for a dual purpose shop. One side is used for one purpose, the other for another. And each of them has their own air supplies um, running throughout them. And so at the beginning of the air supply for each shop, I'll install this and you'll be able to control how long you are going to need the valve open. So I'll go ahead and demonstrate how it works. And this is to solve a problem with air leaking and uh, forgetting to turn it off. So this will kind of force the user to do it. So when I turn it on, it'll say choose mode, press one or two. Now I'm gonna press a different key. I'll press zero just to show what happens if I press any key besides one or two. And it says invalid key, press one or two. So I'll go ahead and press key one uh, just to demonstrate that we're gonna use valve one. Then it'll tell me to choose a time press 1 through 9. So if I press 1 it'll give me 10 minutes, 9, 90 minutes and so forth. Um, again if I press a different key I'll press 0 just to show or I'll press the power key just to show what happens if I choose the wrong key. It says invalid key press 1 through 9. So I'll go ahead and press 1 to give it 10 minutes although for the sake of time it, I have it set up to run in seconds just so you can see the whole demonstration. So it's going to open valve 1 and the timer has begun timing down. When it reaches zero, it'll close valve one. Okay, now I'm going to demonstrate with mode two. It just cycles back, uh, press two, and um, I'll press 20 minutes this time just to show it does work with different amounts of time. And again, it'll be displaying in minutes in the future. Um, although now it's running in seconds. So it's open to valve 2 and you can watch on the top left there as the screen gets to 0 it will close valve 2. Alright, I'll turn it off and go ahead and show which components. I have an LCD screen here uh, here's my two motorized ball valves. They only require power when they're on, which is nice because you don't have to worry about leaving them energized for a long period of time. I'll go ahead and show you what's inside it. Um, this is the power supply for the um, motorized ball valves. They use 12 volts. This is the 9 volt power supply that goes with the Arduino here. Um, here is my relay that was included in the Arduino kit. Uh, the LCD, there's the back side as well as the I squared C adapter for it. There is my sensor for the remote and that's just uh, how I wired things together. Thank you for watching.